calling someone cringe might be the ultimate slam dunk insult on the internet, but I swear, embracing it is a superpower. Some of the coolest things in the world require you to look like an absolute idiot when you're learning them. If you're learning to surf, you are not going to look cool right away. You have to be very okay with being a kook before you get anywhere close to being a decent surfer. And I think that's why surfing is so cool. In order to get good at it, you have to be incredibly persistent and, and probably go through a lot of embarrassment just to arrive at being a decent surfer. But what if it's something other than surfing? What if the thing that you love will just always be cringy? I got to go to New York City with two of the coolest people that I've ever met. Schaefer does all the things that I already think are cool, like skating and making videos, but he just does them all way better than I could ever imagine. And Bailey has this superpower of helping you see the extraordinary in even the most ordinary situations. I honestly felt cooler just traveling with them but little did they know, they were traveling with the biggest kook that this city has ever seen. We're checking out this new spot. Dude, it's a heavy spot. Like, you gotta be dodging people. There's cops everywhere. Um, high profile spot. Yeah, security's, security's everywhere. coming security's right Security's coming. We gotta get Let's out of here, actually. Never mind, this way's harder. Maybe not. It's a pretty technical feature on its own. Oh! <laughs> all right, all right, that was a warm up. I'm taking it serious now. <laughs> This is the one. Yes. Yes. I think that was pretty good. Extreme grind. It's epic grind, dude. Oh. Damn. Wow. <laughs> wow. Jake started talking a big game about soap shoes, and I was like, Dios mio, man, here we go. First finger skateboards, now soap shoes. <laughs> and uh, I was highly suspicious of uh, whether or not they were going to be the dumbest thing I've seen in my entire life or not. And then Jake does one grind in New York City, <laughs> and I'm sold instantly. <laughs> not to mention, when he let me try his soap shoes on, things really took a turn towards the magic. Let me put it this way. New York City is ordinary. New York City on soaps, extraordinary. I had a good time. <laughs> Soap shoes are good. I actually think they're pretty sick now that I've tried them. Do they make you feel cool? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Darn. Am I supposed to say yes? No, that's the most perfect answer ever. <laughs> When you learn to embrace your cringe, you're rejecting the idea that you need to please everybody. Rejecting the idea that you have to have it all together and embracing the messy reality of being human. And when you do that, you open up an entire new world. You'll open up yourself to so many more opportunities and discoveries and and gain a way better understanding of yourself and of others. And when you're persistent with that, that's how you find your people. People who enjoy the same types of weird, cringy things that you enjoy. What's that song about New York? That's true about pity. New York's for you, New York's for me. Sing along with me. All right, you get one guess. What are they keeping the top of that bad boy? Uh, how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? No. <laughs> hey! What, what is he doing? <laughs> and if you're really lucky, those people that you've found might think you're cool just for being you.
If you've made it to this point, thank you so much for watching. I, I seriously appreciate it. And I figured this would be a good time to mention that Schaefer and I started a podcast. It's called Friends with Benedicts breakfast around the world. And it's actually been uh, a great practice in exactly what this video is about. Uh, it's been difficult. I feel a little awkward and definitely feel like I'm learning a lot and a little bit embarrassed at times. But man, it's been a great practice. If nothing else, it's been amazing to just get to talk to Schaefer once a week. So if you're interested in our podcast, it's loosely centered around art, visual arts um, and whatever other nonsense we find <laughs> related to that. Should be available on most podcast platforms and then here on YouTube as well. I'll link it below. But other than that, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it and see you soon. Psycho.